Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's here by Marshall Bring you guys another Call of Duty video. You guys, this is a ranks play game. You guys love my ranks play games, but you guys are gonna love this one. As you guys can tell from the title and thumbnail, I did drop a 60 bomb and oh my god, this game was good. I mean, I went off, I got some streaks, my streaks went off. I just literally got lucky. These kids weren't the greatest kids in the world. But guys, before I talk about some tips for you guys, I just want to thank all you guys out there. I mean, you guys show so much support. We're going to hit 40,000 subscribers by this week. Uh, we could hit it by Wednesday, but guarantee we'll hit it by Friday. 40,000 subscribers, that's huge, man. We're getting very close to 100,000. I mean, we're not, like, up there. But, I mean, we're growing so fast that it feels like we'll hit it pretty soon. But, yeah, you guys. Thank you guys for that. I mean, I used to average 150 likes per video, you guys. And that would be within the 24-hour range. Now, within 24 hours... You guys could hit a thousand likes easy. I mean, you guys did it on the past three videos. You guys just hit a thousand likes easy. I mean, it's so easy for you guys, and it's just that's so awesome, man. I just want to thank all you guys out there for all that support, guys. I have big dreams for Exotic. I don't want to just be big myself. I want Exotic Nation to be big as a community. I want us to be bigger than like Parasite or not Parasite, but a uh, Phase or. Maybe even denial. I mean, I just want to have a competitive team. I want to have a sniping team. I just have big dreams, and I hope we can achieve it one day. That's my future long-term goals. For those of you that are wondering, if you guys are curious on shirts and stuff, apparel, stuff like that, yeah, we'll get that stuff when we hit 100,000 subscribers. But right now, we're going to focus on the channel. We're not going to focus on apparel and stuff like that because um, we're not big enough yet. We're not, we're not, I mean, we do have an audience, but we don't have a big enough audience yet, and you guys know that. But you guys, I want to apologize for yesterday's video. I was cocky as hell in yesterday's video. That is because I was wagering legendary items, you guys. I mean, I was so scared that I was going to choke and lose these legendary items that I just spent so much money on. And I actually ended up getting into a game that was late and I was scared. And I still ended up winning. So I was happy. That's why I was cocky because I was like, dang, yeah, boy. I was just, I was pumped up, man. I was pumped up and that's, that's what happened. That's what gamers do. But yeah, I'm sorry about that. They were not the greatest players in the world. Just like these kids aren't the greatest players in the world. But it doesn't matter. I dropped a 60 bomb. But let's stop talking about, oh God, every time I do that, I feel like it's so loud for you guys. But let's not talk about yesterday's video or anything like that let's start talking about the gameplay because you guys probably want some tips to how to get better like i mean dropping a 60 bomb i'll give you guys the best tips i can to drop a 60 bomb okay if you guys want to drop a lot of kills in a game like rank play or something like that the goal is to stay alive you don't want to be the hill bitch you don't want to stay in the hill all the time you do get 125 kills being on the hill and then only 100 kills if you're off the hill so you do get a lot more points i mean it does add up but is it worth it? Is it worth the other team all rushing in on you and killing you just like what happened right there? If I just got out of there and stayed alive, it would have been better. Um, no, it's not worth it. But watch this. There's ten, two more seconds left on this next hill. I wanted to get on this hill just to get the points. And I got the 200 points and I got that kill. So I got 325 points right there. So I'm working on streaks. The aerial assault drone with AI control and uh, rockets is the best streak you can do for ranked play. I mean... This core streak goes off. As long as you put it in the right place, it will kill pretty much the other team completely. Um, right now, I'm just I'm just waiting, staying alive. I don't want to turn around and run up the stairs because that dude would have got me. I was just waiting for that person. You know, you always want to be cautious. Everything you do wants to be cautious because your goal to drop a lot of kills is to stay alive as long as you can. Like this guy shooting me, I just wanted to hide, and stay alive, let my team go out there, and then distract him. You know, you use your teammate as bait. It is what it is, but it helps you get a higher scoring gameplay. So it makes you look a lot better. I mean, 60 kills. I think I dropped like 62 in this game. And that's that's freaking awesome, man. For a ranks play game, that's extremely hard to do. Um, it does happen. I know a lot of you guys are going to comment below and be like, I did it before. It's not hard. You suck. But it's okay. I mean, I'm, I'm happy that I got this gameplay. Um, so you just want to stay alive. You want to get on the hard point, get off the hard point, go kill people, go be a slayer, you know? You want to go out and be a slayer, get on the hard point, get your 200, and go slay out. And then... If the other team's like rushing your team and your team needs help, go help them out. Don't be scared to jump in it. Don't camp outside of the hard point the whole time and not do anything. Like right now, I'm hitting a flank. My team's pushing on one side, so I decide, you know what, I'm going to hit this flank and we're going to trap them and I guarantee you we'll get the hard point. We trapped them, but they ended up slaying out my whole team because they, they didn't spawn where I thought they would. You just It's really about map control. You got to know map control. A lot of you guys out there know that. And the way you can have map control is paying attention to the minimap. Because you can look at where the other team is at by where they're shooting. And where your team's spawning at, you'll know where the other team's spawning at. It just takes time. to Over time, watching your minimap, you'll learn these things. Because 
you'll see that your team's spawning A Street. That means they're going to be spawning back here. If your team's spawning A Street and you have a person like me sitting in this back little parking lot area, they're going to be spawning from mid-cut and just jumping from that side like right here. They're going to be coming from purple or something like that. So right here, I think I got a three-piece. This kid had no shot. I mean, I was missing my shots and he still couldn't get me. And then I just hit the jukes on this kid. I knew he was coming. I was just waiting for him. He had a shotgun. I just reacted quicker. And I got the assault drone. Guys, watch my assault drone. This thing goes off. This is the reason I dropped a 60 bomb. If it wasn't for this, it would probably be a 40 bomb or close to a 50 bomb. Um, like I said, the streaks are everything to drop in a high, uh, high kill streak gameplay. You know, it, it, you need something there to help you out you can't just do it yourself i mean you can but it's just going to make it a lot harder you need teammates that aren't as good because if your teammates are just as good as you and they're slaying out just as good as you then there's no going to there's not going to be any enemies for you to kill because your team's killing them all you got to have decent teammates that know how to play to help you out i don't know how to explain it but you you got to have people that play objective you got to have an objective player you got to have an obj helper a slayer you just got to have a good team you know what i'm saying i was playing with the full team right here i was actually playing with subscribers this game so i had a lot of fun with these guys and um Pretty much, it was just this was just one of those fun games, man, where I was slaying out. As you guys can see, I'm hiding. I mean, I'm killing people, and I'm hiding in corners, and then it's just I'm getting out of there. Like, you don't want to stay in the same spot for too long. Uh, I'm hitting a flank all the time. You guys are probably like, why do you always go all the way around? It's because I'm hitting a flank. There's no, I didn't even challenge that kid, but there's no reason to... Um, there's no reason to go directly into the fight if you're trying to save up for streaks. As you guys can see, I got another assault drone, so it does help out a lot. Um, the score streaks probably will get you 20 kills. If you could get one of them, you'll get probably 6 kills max. Now, it doesn't sound like a lot, but say you have a 20 bomb. Say you drop 23 kills in a game, and then you get that uh, kill streak. You'll drop, I don't, I'm not good at math, you'll get around 29, 28 kills. So... It's pretty good. I mean, it does help you out a lot, and it could make or break your, your KD pretty much. I think I got a six-point-something KD this game, so that's pretty crazy. I think this is the last time I die. Uh, we're closing in on 250, so the game's about to end. We're, me, me and my team, we could have ended it on this hard point, I believe, um, but my team decided to jump out because I was like, yo, I'm actually close. I could drop this, this 60 bomb. You guys help me out. Get off the hard point when we get close. And they're like, all right. So they helped me out. That's also another thing you can do is have teammates that will help you out. Um, bait the other people out. I mean, just don't be in the open, you guys. You guys want to hug corners, but you also want to keep moving. You don't want to stay in one spot. Like, you guys will see me get out of here because nobody's coming this way. So I just want to get out of there and I want to find the other people. You got to be aggressive yet again, not too aggressive. It's hard to explain. Okay, I'll break it down real quick. Jump in the hard point, jump out, get out of there, hit flanks, jump in the hard point, jump out, get out of there, hit flanks. That's pretty much what you got to do. You don't want to stay in the hard point, and you don't want to stay hiding in a corner because if you stay in one spot, a third of soldier, and I didn't even notice I got three. But if you stay in a certain spot, the other team's obviously going to know where you are every time. So they're going to come to that spot and try and kill you because they're annoyed of you camping. So you just got to move around. And I think right there I dropped the 60 bomb. But I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay, you guys. I'm only shooting for 300 likes on this video. You guys killed 1,000 every time too easy. Just go ahead and give me 300. That'll mean the world to me. I'm not asking for too much. You guys are awesome already, man. But those of you guys that live in Virginia, I need to know who lives in Virginia because I'm, doing, I'm going to an event in Virginia and I want to find three other players that can go August 1st and August 2nd. If you guys can go to D.C. August 1st and August 2nd, let me know in the comments below because you can play with me on a team. You just got to let me know in the comments below. But I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.